Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've just got done with watching CES 2019 AMD's keynote and um, wouldn't you know, AMD came with something special, something unexpected, something I was expecting towards the end of 2019, possibly Q3 at the earliest. So AMD have pretty much let Nvidia just do what they want with the high end of graphics cards for the whole of 2018 you got to remember the rx vega 64 released august 2017 they didn't release anything to compete with the gtx 1080 ti in 2018 and then nvidia built upon that lead by releasing the rtx 2080 and 2080 ti towards the end of 2018 but out of nowhere these are zeus springs the amd radeon 7 and I actually really like this marketing, um, the way they've gone around with the naming scheme. So the first consumer seven nanometer graphics card to be available. So they're the first two seven nanometer. I know they originally made one, which was the instinct, I believe, but that wasn't really like for graphics and gaming. It was more the data centers and stuff like that. So this is the first like consumer grade graphics card to use a seven nanometer um, process, which is amazing. Because course, uh, AMD, I mean, NVIDIA is still on 12 nanometer, so uh, they've got some catching up to do in terms of um, dynode di shrinking. So um, AMD are leading the way there. They're also going to include 16 gigabytes of HBM2 on this beast. So you're not going to be struggling for VRAM, which is nice to see. Um, 8 gigabyte has been a limitation of HBM for a while now, and they're just going to double it and uh, just going to literally solve all of your vram problems um strangely enough it's going to be packing a little less stream processors than the vega 64 so the rx vega 64 came with 4096 while the radeon 7 is touted to have 3840 now um these processors are obviously going to be a bit more efficient due to the die shrink and they're also meant to be running at 1800 megahertz out the box so even the most overclocked liquid called vega 64 is not going to do 1800 megahertz not without a crap ton of power to get there so um this thing may have some decent overclocking potential it's already on the level of the rtx 2080 ti so it's not going to be it's not going to be too far behind um beating or even catching uh the rtx uh 2080 TI possibly in some titles that favor AMD's technology. So it'll be interesting to see um, how well that does against a stock RTX 2080 TI when it's fully overclocked. But um, let's have a look at some of the stats now. Um, AMD are touting that up to, I believe, 25% faster in most titles, um, or 25% faster with the same power, which is interesting that's quite a bold bold claim but i would assume that is quite accurate it's gonna have one terabytes per second memory bandwidth which is very good um definitely gonna not struggle for bandwidth there because gddr6 can't get anywhere close to that so they're going to be leading the way with that um battlefield 5 far cry 5 and vulcan pretty much rivaling the rtx 2080 of course strange brigade the radeon 7 it's about uh almost 15 frames per second faster which is uh a nice increase because we do know the rtx 2080 is uh just not really a real successor to the 1080 ti but it is a little bit faster for for most titles when you really look at it so for me this would have been the perfect graphics card for amd to bring out um when we were expecting the vega 64 this this is what the vega 64 should have been in my opinion but of course um you know it didn't pan out that way but had they brought this out had they brought this thing out back in 2017 it would have been an absolute beast man it would have just shook up the market completely but i'm glad to see they've returned to the high end um of things when it comes to graphics cards it's been a while and uh it's good to see them back i'm very very intrigued it's going to cost $699 and it will be released February the 7th, 2019. So they're trying, a, um, 
trying to market it with the seven, the more emphasis on the seventh of February, the seventh for seven hundred dollars, basically. Radeon Seven, I like it. Very expensive though, but I think when you look at RTX twenty eighties going for eight hundred pounds or eight hundred dollars if you're in the US, then yeah, hundred pounds less for pretty much the same performance. What's not to like? Plus, you get Division Two, Resident Evil Two, and Devil May Cry Five free with the card as well so i'm probably gonna get one i can't say i'll have one on release day but i'll definitely get one and i'll be happy to bring you guys some performance figures when i do so that's pretty much it for me guys let me know what you think in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching